What's up guys, Chris Schwartz Edmondson here from Schwartz Edmondson Web Design. In today's video, we're gonna be looking at how to hide the header and footer on a single page in Squarespace. So to get started, let's go ahead and look at uh, the classes, the HTML, and figure out what we can target to hide both the header and the footer. So I've right clicked on the header and I've clicked inspect and I'm in Chrome and the Squarespace template that I'm using is Brine. Um, but you can adjust this as needed. The principles will, will pretty much be the same from template to template. Okay, so here I'm hovering over this header class, header, header top. and We can see that our header is highlighted. So what we can do is uh, I'll even toggle down the site inner and we can see here is the header bottom. Now we don't have anything in the header bottom, so it's not visible right now, but both the header top and the header bottom get this, uh, have this element type of header. So what we can do is we can just use that header element type. Uh, and if we had a header top and a header bottom, it would hide both of them, which is exactly what we want. And if we come down to the footer down here and highlight, uh, highlight the footer here, we can see that the footer gets a has an element type of footer. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over to my custom CSS and I'm going to target the header by its element type. And I'm going to write a comma and then I'm gonna target the footer by its element type and open up some curly brackets and I'm gonna set their display to none. And you see nothing has happened yet and that's because we have to add an important tag and an important tag basically tells the browser, um, ignore any previous CSS properties that conflict with this and make sure that this gets rendered. So it's kind of like the end all uh, in terms of CSS targeting. So right now I have set the display to none and so that's overriding whatever styles Squarespace had previously had applied to them. So now uh, our header and our footer are hidden so that's exactly what we want. Um, but the problem is this is our site-wide CSS code injection. So it's going to apply to every page on the site. So if I go back to my pages panel uh, and I go to like my about page, for example, you'll see that my header and my footer are, vis are uh, also hidden because this is applying to all pages on the site. So how do I limit this to just one page? Well, I'm gonna go back to my custom CSS panel and I'm gonna right click on my page and click inspect. So if I scroll up to the body tag, uh, you're gonna see that the body gets a unique ID. So here we have body ID equals collection dash and then this like this long string of letters and numbers. So these, these IDs that are added to each page's body tag, these are unique per page. So this, this collection ID is unique to this, this home page right here. Uh, so what I can do is I can use this unique ID added to the body tag uh, to make sure that this CSS is limited to just this one page. So I'm gonna double click on it and for some reason it hi highlights all that stuff, but just double click on it again and you can highlight the collection dash and then a bunch of letters and numbers. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wrap well, add a, a pound sign. That's how we target IDs. And again, that is an ID added to the body tag. And I'm gonna paste that collection. Then I'm gonna open up some curly brackets. I'm gonna delete the, the last curly bracket because we wanna wrap what we had before inside of our new uh, collection ID curly brackets. So you should have your hashtag collection ID and then an opening curly bracket, then header comma footer, another opening curly bracket, display none, important, and then two closing curly brackets. So now if I go back to my pages panel, you'll see that this CSS that's hiding the header and the footer is only applying to this one page. So now uh, I'll have the header and footer on every other page of my site, except for the one that I want it to be hidden on. So if I want to add more pages, 
So this is really good for hiding headers and footers on like sales pages or signup pages. So if I have multiple signup pages, I don't have to rewrite this every single time. What I can do is I can go back to my custom CSS and then we can just separate each collection ID for each page with a comma. And then this CSS will apply to each page that we add. So let's say that we want to hide it on uh, the about page as well. I'm gonna navigate over to my about page and then go back to my custom CSS panel. Uh, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna find the I collection ID that gets added to the body tag of this page. So I'm gonna go up to the body, body ID equals collection. I'm gonna double click on that, copy it add a comma, add a hashtag or pound sign, and then add this new collection ID. So now the header and footer are being hidden on both of these pages, the home page and my about page. So again, you could add any number of pages that you want, just make sure that you are separating them with a comma, and then this CSS will apply to each one of these pages that you add. And another thing that you should be doing to notate your CSS is adding comments so that way when you come back in six months you know exactly what this CSS is doing so I'll write a little note hides header and footer perfect uh, and if for example you were only doing this on sales pages then I could get even more specific hides header and footer on sales pages so now I know that each one of these collection IDs is a collection ID of my sales page so that is how you hide the header and footer on individual pages. And the great thing about this technique is that it can be used on even the personal Squarespace plan. So uh, there are other methods that use the page header code injection, but that's a premium feature. So this is the best way to do it because it keeps all of your CSS in one spot. And you can add as many pages as you want. And you can be on any of the Squarespace plans. Okay, if you like this tutorial and you want to learn more about customizing Squarespace with CSS, please sign up for my four-day e-course. It's completely free. I'm not selling anything. Uh, it's totally just for you guys' benefit. And also, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm trying really hard to grow it. I have lots of tutorials and content about customizing Square, uh, Squarespace with CSS. So I think you guys would really enjoy it. So it would help me out if you guys subscribe. I'm really, really, really trying to get to a thousand subscribers. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I will see you in the next one. In the meantime, keep creating awesome Squarespace websites.